Google Cloud offers a wealth of managed services and serverless options for your workloads. But many mission-critical services use compute infrastructure directly and run on Google Compute Engine instances. How can we improve observability for those workloads? Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Cloud Operations Agent to do just that. Welcome to Engineering for Reliability with Google Cloud. First, what are agents and why do we need them? Here is an example of an infrastructure summary dashboard for a project with a few GCE VMs in it. Notice that we're not getting any data about how our instances are using memory. That's because the VM hypervisor only knows how much memory is allocated to each VM, not how much of the allocated memory the VM is actually using. This is just one example of data that can only be gathered by a process running in the guest VM, such as an agent. There are other benefits of running the ops agent inside the VM. It monitors your VM instances without the need for any additional configuration after the install. It exposes many additional metrics beyond memory and gives you better visibility to CPU, disk, and network performance. And the Ops Agent unifies gathering of metrics and logs into a single agent. If you've been using Google Cloud for a while, you're probably familiar with the legacy monitoring and logging agents. However, at this point, the Ops Agent should be used in all cases. Now that we've covered the benefits of agents, Let's have a look at how to install the Ops Agent. I'm going to show you how to install the agent in three ways. First, we'll install the agent on a single VM using local commands. Then, I'll show you how to install it on a fleet of VMs by using agent policies. And finally, we'll automate agent installation using Terraform. Let's get into it. From the project dashboard, let's go to Monitoring Dashboards. Select the VM Instances dashboard. Here, we can see that there's a VM without any agents on it. Let's SSH to that machine. Once the SSH connection is established, run the commands to download and install the Ops Agent. We'll link to the documentation that has the up-to-date command in the episode notes. After some time, you'll see an installation succeeded message for the Cloud Ops Agent. At this point, we can go back to our dashboard and confirm that the VM is reporting as having the latest version of the agent installed. We can then go to the VM details screen and see that we're getting agent metrics for that VM, including memory utilization and details of CPU usage. So that's an easy way to install the Cloud Ops agent on a single virtual machine by using an SSH connection and installing the agent through the command line. That was easy enough. Now that the agent is installed, let's have a look at all the additional data it's gathering from our VM. Let's go to our VM instances and select our VM. The Observability tab is a single place to see monitoring and logging data collected for this VM. In a metrics section, we can see lots of data like memory and disk utilization. This is just some of the information that's being collected by our agent running on the VM. The Processes section shows what's running on the VM and resource utilization of all the various processes. Again, this information is only available by having an agent on the VM. The Memory section shows us how memory is being used by the VM. And finally, the Log section will show us all the logs being collected from the VM. We can open these in Logs Explorer to better understand where each of these is coming from. So that's how all the additional data being gathered by the agent is collected in a single place and made easy for you to use. The Ops Agent collects a lot of valuable data, but how can we install it at scale across our VM fleet? Let's have a look at automating the installation and maintenance of the Ops Agent with agent policies. Let's start on the VM Instances dashboard. Here, we see that we have multiple VMs with no agent installed on them. We can install an agent on all of them at once by using an agent policy. Let's have a look at an example of how to do that using gCloud. We'll post a link to the details of the command in the episode notes. But here's an example that will require installing the Ops agent on all the instances in the specified zone that match the operating system and version filter. Note that you'll have to enable the relevant APIs in your project in order for this to work. Again, Refer to the documentation for those details. 
After some time, the operation will report a success. We can then go back to our dashboard and see that the VMs that match our operating system filter and reside in the zone we specified for the policy have the latest version of the agent installed on them. We can go to the details for one of the VMs and confirm that we're getting agent information there. So that's how you can use agent policies to ensure that the Cloud Ops agent is installed and automatically upgraded across a VM fleet. Using agent policies to automate agent installation and maintenance is much more scalable and error-proof than doing it manually. But even entering commands like this is still prone to input and human error. Let's have a look at how to turn agent policy configuration into code with Terraform. Let's start by defining our agent policy using Terraform. The Agent Rules section will define which agent we want to install and whether we want to enable auto-upgrading for it. The Group Labels, OS Types, and Zones filters will define which VMs are subject to the policy. To create the policy, first issue the Terraform Validate command to make sure your code is correct. Once it's validated, use the Terraform Apply command to create your agent policy and confirm that the operation is successful. Once the Apply command is finished, run the gcloud describe command to validate that the policy has been successfully created. Finally, verify that the policy has been applied and that the agent has been installed on the instances that are subject to the policy. Thanks for joining me today. We covered the ops agent, how it differs from the legacy monitoring and logging agents, manual and automated agent installation, and the data that the agent provides to help you improve the observability of your services running on GCE. I hope this helps you find issues in your VMs faster and keep your users happy. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on more engineering for reliability with Google Cloud. See you soon.